else struggles with how to organize underneath their kitchen sink. This has been a huge struggle for me. And I will tell you, up until about a month ago, I had no idea what was in this cabinet or these cabinets. So what I did was I took everything out of the cabinets and I really thought about my space and what I wanted to use it for. So I have it now fully organized and I cannot wait to share it with you today. I'm Kristen and welcome to the Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. Honestly, until about a month ago, I did not want to spend any time with my kitchen sink. I didn't want to spend any money on it. Zero effort. And then all of a sudden, one day, I got underneath here and I pulled out something from the very back of the cabinet. And I'm like, why is this even underneath this kitchen sink? Why? because I had just shoved it underneath there. Because, oh, well, I'll just put that underneath there. I won't have to look at it again. So it looked like I was hoarding all of this random mess. Bottles and, y'all, I cannot tell you how many half empty soaps, like hand soaps that I had underneath here. I mean, I had just crammed them at the back of my cabinet. So enough was enough. So I pulled everything out and I put it in a laundry basket and I let it sit in the corner of my kitchen. Yes, it did kind of take up a lot of space in my kitchen. Yes, it could have been seen as messy, but you guys, I had to do that to start with a clean slate. I needed a clean space to see what I had to work with underneath here. I mapped it out. I mean, y'all, I had little arrows and bubbles and I looked up all of these products and I measured to make sure that what I wanted to get was going to work. And it took me several different times until I finally came up with what I wanted to get because at first it was like over $100. And I'm like, I'm not spending $100 underneath my kitchen sink. Everything that is in here is for the kitchen, for the dishwasher, for the sink, and it has a purpose. So now I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm going to share this newly organized space, which you guys is very simple, but I feel like it's going to be completely effective. So under my kitchen sink, there are two cabinet doors to this one cabinet. Now, and you will see once I open these doors up, you're gonna be able to see to the cabinet on the left because I think these are cheaper cabinets to where every cabinet area doesn't have a wall. It's one big cavity if you open it up. So it's kind of distracting to me, which I think has been causing me the most issues, but I think I have it worked out. So this is how underneath my kitchen sink looks. So my biggest issues that I had to work with with this space were all of the plumbing and the garbage disposal down here. Now, this is the plumbing. Look how huge the garbage disposal is. I mean, I could not get certain organizers that were taller. So I had to work with that. So I think I've done a good job at working around those things. You guys, I had to measure. So make sure if you have a cabinet, any cabinet where it has any type of plumbing or something hanging down, make sure that you measure. That is what I had to do. So I've utilized all of the area. I got a command strip right here to hang my microfiber cloth. So this is for the counters. This one is for the counters. So that's why I'm just keeping it right there, clipped to my cabinet door. So this area right here was the biggest challenge for me because of this gigantic garbage disposal. So I knew I wanted to use this for all of my tall cleaners because it was fine for that, but I needed some kind of organizer that was going to go almost all the way back in this cabinet. So after looking 
I went with my favorite. You guys know this is probably one of my favorite all-time organizing products. I have them all over my house. These are the Room Essential Y Weave Baskets. You guys, I cannot get enough of these. I have them in every size all over my house. And you're going to see this one sitting over here too. So what I decided to do was I decided to put this in here because it goes almost to the back. I didn't want the very back of this cabinet used. So I put this in here. So if I need anything towards the back of this organizer, all I have to do is pull it. And I can get what I need and then I can put it back. That's it. And I've been using this for about two weeks and it's worked. So most of the things that I need are right in the front here. And then all of my extras are in the back. So I'm going to pull this out and share with you what is in this basket here. And then we'll move to the others. So here is my basket of cleaner. So I've got my dishwashing detergent here. This is old. I think my husband bought this for something. I'm not really sure, but you guys know. If you've not seen my favorites video from October, I will link it in the card above. The Dawn, best cleaner for just basically everything. So I talk about that in detail in that video. So at the back here, I have extra dish soap. I have the radish up on my counter right now. So I've got the Mrs. Myers Penny, the apple cider, which you guys know is my favorite, and the geranium. So all three of these are back here. And when I run out of the radish, I will move one of these out. And here's the thing. When you're not organized, you don't know how, what you have. I had no idea I had these three extras. So I would have just gone out and bought, bought more dish soap if I, if I didn't know I had those. So this was something Grove sent me this summer. It is gel dish soap refill. So I have that in here in case I need to use that. So you guys, I need to use all of this before I purchase anything else. Then I've got the Wayman's Stainless Steel Cleaner and Polish in here. And I don't use this a whole lot, but I'm just keeping it in here just in case. You guys know I like the method the best. So I just need to use this up. Then I have a little mason jar full of extras. So I have these on my counter already, but these are the extras in case those get to where I, they need to be replaced. For I use this one here mainly for my cast iron skillets for those cleanings. So that is what I have in this Room Essentials. I think this is the medium size. I will have it linked below. And it does say on the bottom, I think. So this is what I have in basically my cleaners and soaps bin. Now we're going to talk about this area right here. You guys, this is usable space. But the issue is that you've got this wood piece in the middle of it that divides the bo both of the cabinets. So I knew I wanted to use this space, but I didn't know what I wanted to use it for. So as I was walking through Target, I found this little skinny room essentials basket here and do they have a size on this it doesn't say what size this is but i will link it in the description below i know it is available because i was going to purchase them online so this is a skinny one and i'm like I, that would be perfect between these two cabinets but what am i going to use it for trash bags so now all we have to do is pull out the trash bag right here and it just kind of, the next one will fold over. So before this, I had my trash bags in the pantry and no one could find them. I always had to come and tell people where they were and go actually get them myself. So now I can say, hey, they're under the kitchen cabinet and they're right here, easy to get to. And I feel like this is the perfect storage solution for my garbage bags. Now we're gonna move to this section over here. I knew I wanted to use this bottom area here. I knew I wanted to use the space over here. I needed some kind of vertical and horizontal organizer. Several of you reached out to me and gave me several different storage pictures and videos and blog posts over under the kitchen sink. So thank you for all of those recommendations. Now I will tell you that this was the most expensive thing that I purchased, but I felt like it was going to be very beneficial. So this was $36 on Amazon, but I knew I needed it. Here is the fantastic thing about this. It pulls all the way out. So I can pull this out, get to what I need here, what I need here, 
and at the back back here so this i feel is very beneficial so now i don't have to reach all the way back in this cabinet everything is right here when i need it i can pull it out when i don't need it i can push it back in so the bottom i'm just putting kitchen towels you guys i've got a lot of kitchen towels these are the grove kitchen towels but look that has a stain on it it's clean i don't care it still washes and cleans dishes so i'm fine so i'm using this bottom section here just for kitchen towels so i've got two stacks of those here now up here back here i've got my sponges now i don't have many sponges right now i need to get some more so these are my sponges that i'm going to use in the kitchen and i have them in one of the oxo storage containers and does it say what size this one is this one is the 1.7 quart and it says 1.5 liters so i will link that if i can find that that came in a set i got for uh, i think my birthday many years ago this is what i use for cleaning my sink it is the mrs myers clean day vinegar gel cleaner this is what i use for my kitchen sink and love it and then i got this from grove i think they sent this to me for free it was one of my gifts it is mint castile soap so i'm really not sure how i'm going to use it but i'm sure i'm going to use it in the kitchen so i have that down here so that is how i have this organizer organized so i've got my kitchen towels on the bottom then I have my sink cleaners and my sponges. And I still have some space in the back back here if I want to put anything else in there. So I love that I don't have to reach back there to get anything. I can pull the organizer out and then push it back in when I'm done with it. So that is how I have my kitchen sink cabinet organized. I've got my microfiber cloth on the left. I have all of my soaps in that Room Essential Y Weave medium sized basket on the left. I have my garbage bags in the middle in one of the Room Essential Y Weave baskets. The smaller one, I will link everything. And then over here to the right, I have my Amazon two tier organizer with my kitchen towels on the bottom and on the top i have my sink cleaners and my sponges and then on that right door i have my ikea dust pan and broom set and that is on my cabinet with a command hook just like the microfiber cloth and that is how I finally have my kitchen sink cabinet organized. In the comments below, I want you to share with us some tips or tricks that you use for this cabinet at your house. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time.